Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Total Biscuit. I'm here to ask and answer one simple question. WTF is this stupid menu? No, really. <laughs> I, this is the first time I've ever seen a full release game give you a warning saying, click the OK button if you see the cursor. Otherwise, shiz is broken, bro. Restart the program. Wow, that truly fills me with confidence. Thank you very much. Oh, Lord. Tiny Troopers, ladies and gentlemen, created by Kakuri. Very, very successful on iOS, yet again, finds its way over to Steam. This is a very common thing now. In fact, actually, Great Big War Game came out today as well, which is also an iOS game. Needless to say, these games are seven to ten times more expensive on PC than they actually are on iOS. And I think in my experience, the only one that I've found so far, which has actually been worth playing on PC, has been Hero Academy, and even that was overpriced. So, forgive me, if you will, for going into this game just a tiny little bit cynical. Alright, so what's Tiny Troopers all about? Let's find out. A lot of people identified it very much as a kind of cannon fodder style of game. So, we shall give it a bash. Here are the controls. There are two controller layouts. Basically, mouse and no mouse. So, one way or the other, you are going to be using the keyboard regardless. Full screen, not full screen. There's medium, high, and low. Not necessarily in that order. Options available in a pre-launch window. Aside from that, that's pretty much it. So, no rebound or keys. Nothing like that. Nothing in extras either as well, actually. You know, I'm really intrigued to know as to... I don't think they have this, you know. So... I was looking around because I actually saw this game a couple of days ago. You know, every now and again, I like to pick up iOS games because, honestly, the iPad is by far the highest tech and best piece of toilet entertainment you will ever have. So I like to pick up iOS games every now and again to play while on the crapper or the loo, whichever you prefer, lav. I saw Tiny Troopers and I also saw, hey, there's an update that has a zombie survival mode. And I was like, oh, okay, I guess the Steam version will have that with them, right? Apparently not, it would seem. Oh, well, let's give it a shot, shall we? Oh, wonderful. Yes, tutorial for a game that's got about three keys. Yeah, this is required. All right, on we go. I, I should always be very, very careful when being sarcastic about such things, simply because then th that's the time when I screw up. Okay, I am shooting very, very slowly. Great, fantastic. So I get command points, so that's currency. So, you know, that seems interesting so far. And currently the shooting is highly uninspired, but we'll see how it turns out. Open the support menu, which can be activated with H. All right, so I guess I can grab a grenade with that. All right, that's a cool little mechanic. I like that idea, certainly. So that gets airdropped in. You pick up some grenades, and then control click is what you need. And I'm going to blow up the house with that. Sounds like a reasonable thing to do. So, I like the stylized effect, actually, on the grenade, but I don't like the stylized effect on the guns. The It, it looks like, honestly, you're throwing beanbags rather than actual bullets, so I'm not a huge fan of that. Also, your character moves really, really slowly. <laughs> Astonishingly slow. I, I wonder if that's upgradable, but it's just so incredibly slow. Also, what kind of annoys me is it seems like a game like this would be really good if it happened to follow the whole Diablo idea of you hold down the button and your character kind of turns around. But as you can see here, it doesn't. You you have to click every single time in order to get your character to move anywhere, which is completely and totally unnecessary. I, I'd have to wonder if there's any other way of moving around. Maybe if you actually switch to control layout too. Oh, you cannot be serious. Oh, 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 you are going to love this. You are going to love this. So I thought, ah, maybe I could just use WSD, right? Wrong! No. Aim the controller where you want to go. And by controller, of course, I mean that amazing crazy mouse thing that you happen to have on your right or left hand. And then press Q. I, you, I, are you, are you joking? Are you joking? Seriously. This, this was your plan. This was the best controller setup you could get on PC. Are you out of your minds? Oh my. You know, I'm half tempted just to quit this bloody thing right now, but no, no. Yes, tap compass, guys. Tap it. Tap it. I'm pushing my screen and nothing's happening. Because it turns out it's not a sodding iPhone. 
All right, map. At least I can get M for that. Not that they actually tell me that in this tutorial. Don't know what this Intel pack nonsense is. Okay, yes, please, by all means, finish the boot camp and see if the actual game redeems itself because right now I'm wanting to tear off my own face. Seriously, maybe that'll help me escape from this nightmare, but somehow I think not. Achievement! Yes, I am truly the most wonderful man in the world. Okay, fine. I'm ready for war. Let me skip through. Stop slow zooming. Thank you. Well, at least the music's okay, I guess. Thank you. Yes, I think we'll have a harder difficulty mode. All right, so I've got two bros, by the looks of it, who have very messed up faces and cannot afford plastic surgery. Let's see if we can earn them some cash to do that. All right, mission items, so upgrades, one assumes. Uh, this I like, the ability to kind of customize your squad. Check out, there are different classes here, as you can see. But you've got to wait forever to unlock the bloody things. Wow, mission 21 in order to get that guy. <laughs> Wouldn't surprise me if on iOS you actually had to pay for these. That's just how it is, like kind of pay to win nonsense in a lot of different games. Literally pay to win, not to, not just the PC style of free to play. Oh, no, 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 no. If you don't own an iOS device, you have no idea what pay to win means. Oh. All right, so those are upgrades, various things that I can have. If I have the medals to unlock them, this is cash, which I also can't afford, so I'll bugger it. All right, in we go. Let's see if this is any good then, regardless of the horrendous control system. What I will say is, it's not a bad looker, right? It seems like they've at least tidied it up a little bit for the PC release. It's got a nice stylized look to it. Good use of shadows and lighting, which makes it look rather nice. All right, so this this is cannon fodder, essentially, isn't it? I mean, that that's what it is. Uh, the question is, is it any good, more to the point? There we go. Yep, take him out. So, Yeah, it's cannon fodder with an awful lot of health. An awful lot. Bear in mind that in the original cannon fodder... You actually died in one hit, which was pretty grim. Cannon Fodder was not an easy game, actually. It was a really nice mixture of arcade action and this interesting real-time strategy element to it. There we go. Take you down. Okay, what is this? Is it any use? I guess that just gives me score. That's an assumption based on the fact that the game told me nothing else. All right, do we want any support items? No, we don't have anywhere near enough cash to actually bring in any support items to this point, so... Thus far, I'm not exactly challenged by this game, to say the least. Well, if I don't think I can actually fire fast enough to stop that guy from shooting out. Is this really it? Was that really all there was to it? Let's uh, just pop over here and down there. Because if that was the mission... Oh. This is why you don't bring toilet games to PC. It's the same problem I had with Sonic Death Rally. The races last under a minute. Under a minute. And that obnoxious starring system there. Good lord. It's incredibly annoying. Like, I want to get into a mission and do something. Like, even a starter mission should last longer than that. That was me being slow. Like, if I want to... You know what? Screw it. I just want to try that like, mission again. I assume I can because, you know, that's the way that these things are bloody designed to three-star everything. All right. Let's complete this mission in the shortest time possible, shall we? I mean, hell, half the time you spend looking at the sodding screen to start with. This could have been a loading screen. You know, it really, really could have. There's no no need for that whatsoever. And in fact, the, the fact that your soldiers move so slowly is probably half the sodding reason why you don't really get anywhere. So shoot that guy. I don't even see a way of avoiding being shot by him because they respond almost instantly. I suppose maybe it's possible to dodge if you're quick enough. At the health. Shoot this guy. Incredibly inaccurate shots, but that's just how it is. And then the extraction. So under a minute. Under a minute. Yeah. Not ideal. And this is honestly why I'm very much against porting these kind of games over to PC. All right. Let's continue. Let's see if it actually gets any better, shall we? Back to the campaign. There we go. Do I want to buy any of this stuff? I mean, I could, but I can't get any specialists. I don't have enough stars to get that. Do I really want it? Light armor. Okay. Heavy armor. Heavy barrel. So extra damage. Extra rate of fire seems like it might be useful. Let's just grab that for the hell of it. Should have got extra range as well because the range is fairly limited to say the least. 
Alright, once again, I'll wait for this helicopter to actually land. This is unnecessary, it just elongates the game for no apparent reason. I don't mind longer games, in fact, that's just what I was asking for. I was like, why can't the missions be any longer, but I want to actually be doing something. Alright. Get in there. Unfortunately, as much as I would like to say that it's nice to be able to move your troops around to avoid bullet fire, it's really, really awkward to do so. It it really is, because because you're having to sort of click and then do that, it is it is just like a, a poor version of cannon fodder in that regard. In fact, that's all I can say about this entire game thus far, is that it doesn't seem to really do much new at all, other than the whole currency system involved in it. Can we get rid of that, or I suppose we could grenade it, that might help. Let's give that a try. I still love that grenade effect. That's actually really, really nice. Alright, very cool. Toss a grenade in that direction and really take that down. Very cool. It's not that it's a bad... Actually, yes, it is. It is a bad game. What am I talking about? I was going to say, it's not that it's a bad game. It's like, oh, hang on, wait a minute. It just it doesn't do anything remotely well at all. I would suggest that that constitutes a bad bloody game. You know, I think I've actually been being just a little bit too easy on games lately. I really have. I've been looking for the good in something. Assuming that it's there, just buried under layer upon layer upon layer of complete lack of creativity. Dodgy game mechanics. And of course, predatory business practice by guys that make iOS games, then port them to PC and charge eight to ten times the price. Ugh. But no, this just isn't fun. It's not very good. Yeah, it's fine on a phone, but I have lower expectations for a phone, and I pay less for games on the phone as a direct result. Alright, we have a, a Grenadier. Let's see how that turns out. I actually wasn't paying any attention whatsoever, which is probably my own fault. Alright, well, at least they're varying the missions up just a little bit, but hey, a wonderful, wonderful escort mission. Just what I always wanted. Let's slaughter chickens. What? I, you lose score for killing chickens! What in what universe is that ever acceptable? I'm sorry, but if there's a shooting game with a chicken in it, I should be allowed to kill it, and I should be rewarded for that. What kind of sick, deranged madman would possibly punish you for killing chickens in a game like this? It's a well. There's nothing there. Surely. Bloody B-roll. Christ. Alright, onwards, blow up this building, surely there are no innocent civilians in that. Ah, horrible, awkward shooting mechanics. Clearly not suited for keyboard and mouse. Clearly designed for touchscreens and not properly adapted. It's okay, guys, because, you know, it's Steam. Anyone will pay ten bucks for this crap, right? No, I certainly hope they will not. I really do not. You're paying more for less. Literally. You have less content. You don't have this whole zombie survival thing that they have in the iOS version. One thing... There's a couple of things that I would say about iOS that are actually good. Yeah? And they encourage good business practice for the most part. One is the fact that Apple mandates fair pricing across regions. So you don't get screwed over in the way that you would with this version on Steam by paying 26% more if you happen to be in the EU. Yeah. I kid you not. You also pay 27% more for the UK version as well. $7.99, £6.39, €7.99. Yeah. Apple doesn't allow people to do that on the iOS store, which is actually kind of good. So good on Apple for that. One of the few things I actually praise them for. Second good thing is that Apple encourages regular free content updates because if you do that, every time you update your game, it actually pushes it higher up, higher up in the store rankings. It also gives people a new opportunity to rate the game as well. So if your game initially wasn't very good, when you update it, you get a new set of ratings and reviews and constantly updated games tend to be very, very successful. So that works too. I'm going to do one more mission because, quite frankly, I'm having trouble staying awake due to how astonishingly boring this game actually is. Oh, my lord. It really, really is as well. Okay, let's get in there. At least they didn't do the helicopter thing, so a little bit of survival going on here. Let's see if there's actually any cover or whether they're just going to randomly appear out of buildings. Oh, hello. All right. I, I hate that, the voice acting as well. So I know it's called Tiny Troopers. 
because I guess small soldiers was freaking copyright. But really now, do you have to inflict that on me? Also, there's just complete lack of music outside of the menu screens. The sound effects are tinny at best, terrible at worst. And they have the they have the gall to try and charge eight bucks for this. I, mean, I know eight dollars isn't a lot of money, but quite frankly, I'd rather eat some McNuggets than play this game. And I don't even eat at McDonald's because, quite frankly, it's a cesspit. At least I could feel like I got something worthwhile out of my McNuggets experience. I'm certainly not getting it from this bloody thing. Yes, you can send more troops at us eventually. I think this game is trying to be a throwback to Cannon Fodder. I think maybe the developers actually genuinely had good intentions with it. It's like, hey, wouldn't it be awesome if we could bring a Cannon Fodder style game to iOS? And on iOS for 69 cents or whatever it costs, it that's okay. But on PC, I mean, hell, even Cannon Fodder 3 made by those Russian guys is actually significantly better than this. And you can still get the original Cannon Fodder games anyway. Screw this game. Once again, yet another terrible iOS port with bad controls charging a bunch more money for no apparent reason. Avoid like plague. <sighs> See you next time. Blech.